We are here again today with the top news from Crypto World. In the next five minutes we will talk about Jack Dorsey's bet to introduce DeFi for Bitcoin, UK regulators launch of £11 million campaign to warn crypto users, Zeb Pay introduces SIP for Bitcoin and Ethereum, upcoming Bitcoin buy moment and finally PayPal's decision to remove annual limits on crypto purchases. So stay tuned and don't forget to let us know in the comments how you find this video. Square CEO Jack Dorsey has revealed that the firm is building a new division that will focus on building decentralized finance services that utilize Bitcoin. Dorsey made the announcement via Twitter earlier today and revealed that Square's new division will be building an open developer platform with the sole goal of making it easy to create non-custodial, permissionless, and decentralized financial services. Our primary focus is Bitcoin. Dorsey named engineer Mike Brock as the head of the division, who previously led a development team that was working on integrating Bitcoin features for the Cash App back in 2018. Brock has experience with open source projects through his work with enterprise open source solutions provider, Red Hat Inc. A firm of Square's stature working to make easy to use DeFi services on Bitcoin could potentially ramp up adoption and provide greater competition to Ethereum-based DeFi. The Bitcoin network currently does not have smart contract capability which makes it difficult to compete with Ethereum-based DeFi and its interoperable, money Legos. Decentralized finance on Bitcoin relies on additional infrastructure such as bridges and SIDA chains to initiate smart contracts. The UK Financial Conduct Authority FCA, is launching an £11 million, US$15 million United States dollars, marketing campaign to warn young people of the risks in investing in crypto. The move was announced by CEO Nikhil Rafi in a speech Thursday as part of a webinar on the FCA's role as a proactive regulator. Citing recent research that found almost 2.5 million Britons hold crypto assets, Rathi highlighted the FCA's concern that crypto holders are more likely to be younger and behave less rationally and more emotionally, egged on by anonymous and unaccountable social media influences. This is a category of consumer that we are not used to engaging with, 18 to 30 year olds more likely to be drawn in by social media, Rathi said. He compared crypto to what happened to GameStop shares in January, when a trading frenzy driven by Reddit forum Wall Street Bets pushed the company's stock as high as $483 from $18 at the end of 2020. ZebPay today launched a new app called ZEBB, which will offer users simple SIP options in Bitcoin and Ether. The plan is to lower the barrier of entry, said the company. Users can automate their SIP investing on a regularly recurring schedule, such as weekly, and enjoy instant buy, sell with 0% buying fees with ZEBB. Users simply have to sign up, complete the KYC process and start buying Bitcoin or Ether. He added if, for instance, an investor had bought 100 rupees worth of Bitcoin every week in the past year, they would have gained around 72% on the total investment of 5,200 rupees. Bitcoin is the largest cryptocurrency with a market capitalization of more than a trillion dollars. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency with a market capitalization of over 43 billion dollars. You can open account on ZebPay by following the link in the description. Jeffrey Gundlach, the CEO of investment management firm Double Line, implied that Bitcoin could see more favorable activity in the long term than that of the US dollar. In a Wednesday interview on CNBC's Halftime Report, Gundlach said he believed people would be able to purchase Bitcoin BTC, for under $23,000 soon given the likelihood of the crypto asset forming a head and shoulders trading pattern. He was seemingly referring to a head when the BTC price peaked at more than $64,000 on April 13 and the shoulders as the early January surged to more than $40,000 and the recent drop to the $30,000 S. Though the billionaire said he was bullish on the cryptocurrency early last year, he has always considered it a highly speculative and highly volatile asset, calling the current price chart pretty scary. While volatility would suggest price surges as well as drops, Gundlach's views on the US dollar beyond this year were seemingly more bearish. PayPal has raised cryptocurrency limits for its US customers to $100,000 per week without an annual purchase limit, the company said Thursday. The San Jose, California-based payment services company said on its website the change would enable our customers to have more choice and flexibility in purchasing cryptocurrency on our platform. 
The company also said it would continue to update its in-app guides and educational materials on digital currencies, including addressing commonly asked questions. In May, during Coindesk's Consensus 2021 program, PayPal's blockchain lead, Jose Fernandez da Ponte, said the company would allow users to withdraw cryptocurrency to third-party wallets. Global payments giant PayPal plans to let users withdraw cryptocurrency to third-party wallets, its blockchain lead said. The company ships new developments every two months on average, he said, though it's unclear when the withdrawal functionality is coming.